the astronauts speeding through the 200-mile spacewalk at the International Space Station, after a failure in the preparations left them looking at a shortened outer journey. This marked the ninth spacewalk for Station Commander Peggy Whitson and the first for Flight Engineer Jack Fisher. Whitson set the record for most of the time spent on spacewalks by a woman on her last out-of-season tour in March. But it was a new experience for Fisher. But it was not impressive from the beginning. The spacewalk suffered a delay when one of the services and cooling umbilicals that charged the spacesuits before the departure emerged a small leak of water reason why the two astronauts had to operate out of use of the other in biblical to be able, oxygen, communications and refrigeration when they were about to leave the airlock. Due to the decrease in battery charge in both space suits, astronauts concentrated on their most important task for a first shortened space walk. The space walk officially began at 9.08 a.m. EDT 13.08 GMT, one hour after the scheduled start time, and the duo went straight to the main task installing a 200-pound, 90kg Express's avionics carriers in one of four spare parts depots from outside the spacecraft, where they replaced one that had been experiencing thermal problems. The astronauts spent four hours and 13 minutes on the spacewalk, and managed to ruin through much more work than expected.